anywhere that there's dirt along the stream is a good place to have a tree. A streamside riparian buffer is a patch of forest that we use to catch sedimentation and pollution that might come off in a stormwater runoff and also try to catch some pollutants that are already in the water. Uh, we plant native trees along these riparian corridors to try to make sure that the uh, ecosystem, uh, riparian and surrounding, are healthier for the sake of water quality and wildlife uh, with some extra benefits like carbon sequestration and uh, air quality. These are tree shelters and they protect the tree to increase survivability of the trees that we plant. It protects them from voles, uh, from lawnmower damage during maintenance. Uh, it also gives them a little bit of a um, micro habitat for temperature control uh, in the wintertime and also helps with ventilation for getting hot air out of the tube. We have flared, uh, flared tops and ventilation on the side. But you'll see all of these tree tubes lined up usually in rows along riparian corridors like this four or five feet tall with stakes. Uh, and within a year or two, normally you'll see trees popping out of the top. So some of the key things that buffers are going to do for us, they're going to catch stormwater runoff. Some of that water runs off the topsoil really aggressively, uh, it catches soil with it and causes um, erosion that causes sedimentation in streams, which is really bad for water health down the line. Some of the effects that you'll see from a forest buffer with just the naked eye will be uh, shade, which is fantastic. It's not just for human comfort in the hot summer days. It's good for temperature control in the stream, which is extremely important for aquatic life in that stream. Temperature control in the summer is a, is a big issue for areas that aren't forested in riparian areas. You will also see that once that forest establishes itself, the water uh, where it enters the stream will be much less muddy in rain events in the coming years as we see higher water infiltration rates in the soil and less erosion from the woody plants uh, creating a root mass in that soil. Trees are not only vital for temperature control and sediment reduction and pollution reduction, but trees uh, in most cases kick off the entire food chain of leaf debris falling into the stream, kicking off the food chain for, for smaller, uh, smaller animals that are going to be eating that debris and then being food for larger animals, going all the way up to fish. As for stuff that you can't see with the naked eye, there's so much more going on in a forest buffer that's incredibly important for, uh, for wildlife health, water quality, um, and just environmental health in general. A lot of that is going to be pollutant reduction, sedimentation reduction, catching fertilizer and other pollutants uh, that are going, going to be in runoff. Um, you're not going to see that happen immediately, but there's a ton of uh, nutrient and environmental pollution that's going to be taken up by the roots of these trees and held in the soil and sequestered somewhere instead of being in the water. So it's going to be really good for water quality. Here today, this buffer planting is on the Little Conestoga in Lancaster County. This is actually uh, a fantastic planting done with Alliance from the Chesapeake Bay. We're really excited to see uh, an incredible diversity of plant stock that's going to be here that are going to do uh, all of those benefits that we're used to hearing about forest buffers. Here specifically, it's going to do a lot for the, um, the erosion control that we need a lot of times. It's going to catch a lot of erosion. It's going to catch a lot of stormwater runoff too, so it's going to catch some pollutants. Uh, and there's a whole 
area back behind us that stretches uh, for quite a distance that really doesn't have a great use right now other than being mowed grass. So it's gonna be thrilling to have it entirely converted to forest.